So next stop, Boo Boo Pharmacy. <laughs> Alright, here we are. It's Chi Chi! Huh. I saw her. The reception is deserted! And it seems kinda spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? From over the counter, more, more, most likely, because I kinda saw Chi Chi for a split second. The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. Why are you so scared, Paimon? <laughs> Obviously, the person's here. They're just very short. Oh, so oh, adorable. You are, but you can't even reach the counter. Paimon, if we're going to talk about height. Joke's on you. Paimon floats, so height is no restriction. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's a zombie. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi-Chi died. Then, Chi-Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi-Chi is a zombie. Such nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Orders? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow, in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a Coco Goat. Please and thank you. A Coco Goat? That sounds adorable! So... Honestly, I want to hunt one of those. That, that's awesome. Do you think it's like a coconut shaped goat? <laughs> so, hunt the what with the witch at where? Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I... It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. Do you tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember? Very well then. 
Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a Coco Goat? I want to see the Coco Goat. Oh, that's not far at all. We can get there by foot. I say that as I open the glider. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't think I'd be able to make it through there. I assume this is the item. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear. Even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? <gasps> Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. Yeah. And? That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Alright, so I guess let's go ahead and find the pieces. Is it in this window? Where's that supply post? Here, post... Okay, we got some parts. Oh, I guess that was all the parts. <laughs> ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Oh, I know what this means. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? Shoot them! So you fixed up this turret? Because you're planning to do what, exactly? Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. Heh! <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. Oh, then die. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! <laughs> the next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Take him down. Ah, oh, damn, I was hoping I got to play as him. There's no end to this. 
Go, Barber, go! You got this. You won't even take damage. Just keep shooting. Keep splashing water at them. Ah, oh, glad that's over with. Paimon, you did nothing. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. Yep. Oh, yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. Dang, that's a savage roast. What's more? A contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast, as Chi Chi put it. Ah, <sighs> which means. Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Coco Goat, and review our next step. Good idea! And that's what counts. Is it though? Does that actually count? Is that gonna be worth it? I feel like they're not gonna be happy. We're back, Chi Chi. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. You have my sympathy, I think. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? So, what do you need this cocoa goat for? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Are you serious? Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Mind Zhongli, you didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where the coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. They all need to grow up sometime. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, oh, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Paimon thought Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. You look like Sucrose's brother. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Ah, the medicine... The Nothing in Luwei surprises me anymore. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chengsheng. 
She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Oh, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. You might as well just rob the golden house. Aw, oh, too bad the Chi-Sing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number! We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. No shame. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? <laughs> 20 minutes later, so I don't have to put it in. <laughs> Coco Goat! Coco Goat! <laughs> my sides hurt! Oh my goodness, I cannot believe you fell for that! Hey! Less laughter, more sympathy! Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. That's like zero difference from 3 million! Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, See you soon. He's gonna go get the money, isn't he? Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Oh, trust me, I already know. Gotta go after him.